Clean snow. Who is it? Who is it? It's Harold Steptoe, that playboy of the Swiss Alp. He's got to do a timed run. He's got to do a timed run. Oh. <laughs> First time down at Cresta, and he's doing a timed run. Never seen nothing like it. The Swiss is going mad. There he goes, right over the Eiger. Oh my God, is he going to do it? <laughs> he's got ten seconds. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? You're an IOT, and he's done it. I don't believe it. Watch the forty years in keeping keep all it. Hello, ex Canada and Hello. Hey, what's the game? Close them curtains. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I forgot. I completely forgot. Went right out of my mind. What are you talking about? I haven't bought you a present. Present? What for? Well, your birthday, of course. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear father. It's not my birthday. Not your birthday? Come on, Dad. It's got to be. You're having a wash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I can wash if I want. Well, you never used my shower before. I haven't had a half a ton of soot fall on me before. <laughs> Bleeding birds. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky it was only soot, mate. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like it now you're in there? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> oh, please, I don't want you to think I'm interfering in any way, but I do think it would be more efficacious if you was to take your underpants off. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't taking my underpants off for nobody. Someone might come in. <laughs> oh, Dad, no. Not the washing up as well. <laughs> We've got to use those. Well, no point in wasting the hot water. Yeah, you had the hot water put in up here, but you didn't have it put down in the kitchen when I need it. I'm surprised you ain't got your laundry in there or your rubber plants. Come on, <laughs> out. That's my shower. I'm not having dirty old men ablutin' in it. I did not ablute in it. <laughs> Come on, out. It'll be like South End on Sea when the tide's gone out by the time you've finished. I'll be able to breed a few thousand lugworms in there. I'm nearly finished. Not bad, is it? Better than that old tin bath. What did it cost? Not much. 180 quid. 180 quid? <laughs> Just to the wash, you need your brains tested. How much is that per wash? Well, that depends how often you use it in your lifetime, doesn't it? If it was yours, 90 quid a time. <laughs> As it's mine and I use it twice daily, practically nothing. In any case, I got it with a grant from the council. <sighs> on account of the fact that we is on the list as a deprived family. Now I know the ropes. I'm going to get an indoor carsey next time. <laughs> and the money from that, I'm going to put towards my holiday. Uh, are you coming out of there? I'm nearly finished. I won't be long. I haven't done me privates yet. <laughs> I'm surprised you're taking the jobs. <laughs> After the effect that film Psycho had on you. What do you mean? Well, supposing I was a homicidal maniac. And I crept in here, whilst I was in the shower, and I, I took out my, my big knife, and I crept up to the shower, and I, I opened the curtains, 
Get your out of my way! Hey, get off! Your underpants wouldn't be much protection there, would they? <laughs> No, stop it, Harold. Stop playing about. No one would ever know. The blood would all run down the plug hole. <laughs> it's not funny. A perfect opportunity to get rid of you. <laughs> and I would disappear without trace. And then, when there was about 200 milk bottles on the doorstep, the police would break in only to find her bloodless corpse slumped on the bottom of the shower. Surrounded by... The washing up and a rubber plant. <laughs> Strange ritual in Shepherd's Bush junkyard. Inspector Lestrade said, oh, this man was indubitably a human sacrifice. We's on the trail of a gang of black witches. Oh. They bury you in unconsecrated ground, mate. You're a balmy. You're round the twist. What did you say? Running! <laughs> Running! I'm not mad. I just want my mother. I want my mother. <laughs> 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 oh, you're frightened, aren't you, eh? You and I've got a shake on, look at you. <laughs> Go on, enjoy yourself or you get pneumonia. <laughs> yeah, you're careless, little bleeder. Go <laughs> <laughs> cool, I bet you're cold now, aren't you, eh? Shedding all that dirt. <laughs> Must be like shedding your winter skin. <laughs> You were scared silly then, weren't you, eh? You're petrified of dying, you are. Of course I am! Can't think why. You're running on borrowed time, mate. You've had your three score years and ten on borrowed time, you are. I don't know why you ain't gone. Well, you ain't got no teeth. You can't eat your meat. <laughs> your eyes is going home. You're too old for nookie. Who is? <laughs> I don't know why you bother. In a well-ordered, uh, less oh, sentimental society, you would have been put down. Yeah. Or if you didn't fancy that, you could always go in for the old cryogenics. What's that? Well, when you conk out, they bang you in a deep freeze. Then, in about a hundred years' time, they opens the drawer, warms you up, <laughs> and bobs your uncle. <laughs> Alive in the year 2070. Albert Steptoe, the first interplanetary junk man. <laughs> <laughs> the first totter on Mars. Here he comes hurtling through space with a rocket full of rubbish. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Estimated divers splash down no 100 hours. Clap them, come and bum. <laughs> hey, what do you reckon? I'll bung you in the fridge now if you like. I'll go and get the drawers out. What are you up to? What do you mean? I know you. Whenever you rant on about me being in the way and wanting to get rid of me, it means you want to do something and you'd think I'd be in the way. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> what holiday? Pardon? The money that you're going to get from the council. You said she was going to put it through a holiday. Did I? Yes, you did. Well, I'm going on holiday. I thought so. Without me. Well, I, I wouldn't have put it like that. I, I'm just going on my own, that's all. Well, if you're going on your own, you're going without me. Oh, if you want to put that interpretation on it. What other interpretation is there? If you're going on your own, you're going without me. No, I didn't think of it as going on my own. I, I just thought it was going without Same me. thing! Not unless you think we're indivisible, and I don't. I mean, you is you, and I'm me. I didn't even think about you. Nice, isn't it? Very nice. You spend 40 years bringing up a baby and then he don't think about you. <laughs> well, I didn't think about you in the terms of my holiday, that is all. It's just a well, I'm going wouldn't appeal to you. I mean, I'm not going for a restful holiday. I'm going for an athletic holiday. You dirty little son. <laughs> There are other forms of athletics. <laughs> when are you leaving? That's week. 
Next week? In the middle of winter? There's nothing happening in Bognor in February. <laughs> I'm not going to Bognor. We always go to Bognor. Oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to Oper Gurgle. <laughs> Oper what? Gurgle. Well, I've heard of all the places on the south coast, but I've never heard of Oper Gurgle. <laughs> it's in Austria. Oh, what do you want to go to Austria for? What's wrong with Bognor? Peter. With all the best one in the world, it's very difficult to go skiing in Bognor <laughs> at any time of the year. Skiing? You? <laughs> <laughs> and why not? I've always wanted to go, but I've never been able to afford the gear. It's always been too pricey. <coughs> but I've been collecting little bits here and there off the round. All I was missing was my ski sticks. And today, I managed to pick these up for 15 bob. Look! <laughs> Where do you put your feet? Get down and put your feet in these. Oh, this is for your hands. This is very important if you want to... Well, if you want to move, for instance. I've got the whole lot now. I've been collecting the whole lot. I've got anoraks. I've got trousers, I've got ski boots, I've got the old lot, all off some bird whose old man got killed in an avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly by an avalanche. Apparently, he saw it coming, and he was doing about 60 miles an hour down the Zooks pits. And he's trying to go around both sides of a pine tree at once. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit lucky it was my size, really. I said I wouldn't have been able to go. Oh, just look at all this gear. She's had it all cleaned, you know. There ain't a bloodstain left on it. <laughs> Beautiful. 150 quid for the gear, eh? 50 bob the lot. Well pleased she was. So I'd have been warned her once. And this, this, this is my means of transport. <laughs> I'm just not that workmanship. Just feel them, feel them. Th them, them's racing skis, them is. <laughs> They're different colours. I shall paint my mother. That one's longer than that one. Then I shall cut a bit off, won't I? <laughs> oh, well, if you want to look a burg, it's up to you. I'm not going to look a burg. There's going to be no one up there better dressed than I am, mate. Not even the Aga Khan himself. I bet he won't be wearing welding goggles. <laughs> You have to pick on the one thing, don't you? <laughs> it's only a stop, yeah. I, I shall hire a pair when I get to Obergurgle. Obergurgle. Yeah, it's a very lovely place, Dad. Yeah, this is what it says in the brochure. Hey, you out there, why not be one of the jet set? Join the society playboys on the slopes. Eight to 15 days from 23 and a half guineas, airfare included. Cool. That's going to knock a big hole in the Aga Khan's pocket, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose he's going on the midnight flight from Luton with you. Now, listen, you. If this derisory attitude of yours persists, I shall have no alternative but to stuff this ski stick right up your nose. <laughs> No. Where were we? <laughs> Obergurgle. Oh, that's a lovely place, Dad. Just look at it. All lying out there on the veranda in its bikinis. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get out amongst all that suntan crumpet. <laughs> There's plenty of crumpet over here. Oh, a brown crumpet, mate. <laughs> Brown crumpet in England in February. Well, there's plenty around here. We're the only white family left in the street. <laughs> That's because we drove them out. Now listen, I'm going, so you might as well get used to the idea. Come on, I don't get much out of life. I didn't have an holiday last year. Come on, Benny, it's, it's only for two weeks. How about the business? What business? We don't do nothing this time of the year. He'll shut the place up. 
Here, why don't you go away as well? Where could I go? Well... Well, go to your sister. You always complain, you don't see her. Go see your sister up in Stoke. Stoke? <laughs> in February? It'd be crowded, I'd never get in. <laughs> well, I've heard there's some very nice countryside round there. I am not going to Stoke on Trent in February. Oh, well, you suit yourself. I've made my suggestion. You go where you like, just as long as you keep away from Albuquerque. I wouldn't be in the way. You're not coming. <laughs> you can't. Anyway, even if I wanted to take you, you can't, and I don't. I got a last booking. We're right, an empty bed in the hull of Albuquerque. And well, I could sleep in lures. You're not planning to spend much time in it. You're not coming. <laughs> But that is final. You never want to take me anywhere with you nowadays. What do you mean, nowadays? I never want to take you anywhere. <laughs> I just can't get rid of you. This happens every year. I've never had a holiday on my own yet. Last time I went abroad on my own was to Germany with the army. And that was touch and go. You wanted to join up then. <laughs> Everywhere I go, you're there. Every time I turn round, you're there. I can't even go to bleeding laboratory without your way now, so... <laughs> you follow me everywhere. It, 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 not natural. I don't! You do? That's not true. And you was following me. Oh, I wasn't following you. I wanted to go into the kitchen as well. Go on in. I'll wait. You go in the kitchen, I'll wait here. You see? You didn't want to go in the kitchen. You was following me. But I, I thought we was talking. Oh, blimey, I know how the horse feels now and she's sweating. <laughs> no how fast she runs, she can't get rid of the flies. <laughs> All I want is two weeks on my own, without any flies buzzing around. All right. Uh, I understand. But you never know. I mean, if I ask a good holiday, I might be pleased to see you when I get back. <laughs> For a couple of days. <laughs> I'll be pleased to see you back, Harold. I'm always pleased to see you. I look forward to you coming home every night. You're not coming. <laughs> I know. Anyway, you wouldn't like it. There's nothing out there for you. I mean, there's no whelk stores and no knees ups. Even the bingo's in German. <laughs> yeah, what's the German for legs 11? I don't know. They are, you see. You never get a full house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet you will. <laughs> Now, don't worry about me, Harold. You go off and enjoy yourself. Send your card. Don't bother. I shan't be on my own. I shall go down to the cemetery and sit with your mother. <laughs> you do. Well, I'll be off up to my room. I don't suppose you want me down here irritating you? Oh, Dad, but there's no need to be like this. I uh, what? Oh, you know, irritating. <laughs> well, you've made yourself quite clear, Harold. You're going away next week. I'll try to keep out of your way between now and then. Cheerio. See you in the morning, if we happen to bump into each other. <laughs> He's not coming. He's not coming. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
a bleeding flyover. <laughs> that is a practice pissed. A what? <laughs> a pissed. <laughs> that is French for ski slope. That is for beginners. It's something about practicing before I get onto the real stuff. I built it myself. Yeah, I can see that. No do for me. What do you think? Very nice. How does the horse get out? Oh. Well, it's only for the weekend. She don't go out weekends. <laughs> I'll take it down on Monday. Oh, come on, I can't get some practice in. It's the first time I've done it. It's a very hard to do a sport, you know. You've got to be really fit. I've got to get the muscles really tuned up. I don't want to be knackered on my first day out there, do I? <laughs> Waste of time building that, wasn't it? You could have practiced down the stairs. That'd be ridiculous. The skis is longer than the stairs. You used to when you was little. You used to come down on your mother's best Sunday tea tray. You don't really? Yeah. And I remember once, one winter, I brought you back a pair of ice skates off the round. And, and then the horse had a leak. And when it froze over, you were skating all over the yard. Not exactly San Moritz, was it? <laughs> no. I can't see the Aga Khan skating on that. <coughs> and now you're going to do the real thing. Times are changing. Oh, yes, Dad. The winner sports is no longer the prerogative of the rich. Everybody's at it. Oh, the amount inside is dotted with the working classes having a cow these days. Not that I hope to meet any of them where I'm going. Come on, Dad. Read the ski plan brochure to me again. You know, turn to page nine. Hermione's diary. Where's page nine? In the middle. Uh. A day in the life of a ski bird. <laughs> nine a.m. Leap out of bed and survey you. White slopes glistening enticingly under the morning sun. <laughs> Super party last night. Yeah, go on. Ten o'clock. Crunch over crisp. Snow to see my ski class. Big hello from my ski instructor, Hans. He's really something. Uh, you see, you won't get a look in. We can't have them all, can we? He's got to think of his job. You can't have a shagged out ski instructor. <laughs> the last five minutes, mate. Yeah. Two o'clock. Big moment this afternoon. I skied down the mountain for the first time. Hans made it all seem so easy. Don't keep going on about the ends. <laughs> Get down to me. Four o'clock, Apris Key begins. Yeah, that's it. That's where it all happens. The afternoon booze up. That's where you sort them all out. Lots of natter over yummy sticky cakes and hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Got invited by David, he's a TV executive or something, to join him after dinner on a moonlight sleigh ride. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's marvellous, don't it? Well, I'll have some of that, all right. Yeah, they'll have to rewrite this next year. Got invited by Harold, he's a rag and bone man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't stand a chance, mate. Look, look, on all the days, everybody is equal. I'm not going to tell them I'm a rack and bone man. I, I, I shall be a pop group manager or... I shall be an advertiser or something. I shall suss it when I get there. <laughs> 2 a.m. fell sleepily into bed. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, that's the bit. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way on my shelly will be melted on the first night, mate. <laughs> right, here we go. Dad? What? How'd you turn around? <laughs> Don't ask me. You're the expert. <laughs> well, that can't be right. Oh, God. Yeah, I've got it! I've got it! That's it! 
That's it. That's it. All right, great. <laughs> Go to the <laughs> Oh, yes. That feels very comfortable, that. Yes. I think I'm ready for my practice run now. I think it'd be easier if you took them off. No, I think you're right. Of course, at Albuquerque, you go up the mountain in a, in a ski lift right up the mountain. Yeah, I didn't think they'd have a bleeding great ladder stuck up. <laughs> Very funny. Do you mind if I laugh at that? Young <laughs> lady! Come on, let us up my skis. Oh, come on, Rush. <laughs> See? They come up lovely. You can't tell the difference. They're just like them Olympic skiers now. Right, and more ski sticks, please. I hope your hands ain't sweaty because it takes the wax off them. Right. <laughs> Oh, now you can see why well, I didn't want to take you. This is a very dangerous sport. It's not for old men. Yeah. You better put these on. <laughs> you don't want to get the snow in your eyes. Mind standing out of the way of the slalom, please. <laughs> right. Here we go. Oh, my God. <laughs> to waste the ticket. <laughs> well, have a nice rest. I don't like leaving you here on your own, really. But you're going to. Oh, yeah. Sure you'll be all right? I'll manage. Get your stick off me chair. <laughs> you need somebody to look after you. You should go to my sister up in Stoke. Lovely countryside <laughs> out there. Get out of it! <laughs> <laughs> well, see you when I come back. I'll send you a postcard as soon as I get to Obergurgle. <laughs> Cheerio! Oh, look, Dad! Don't go mad at it. Those steep slopes can be very dangerous. You make sure you go out on the piss first. <laughs> I intend to, mate. <laughs> Every bleeding night. <laughs> Hello. Could you get me Stoke on Trent two double seven five? Thank you. <laughs> 